Hello everyone, how are you all? So today in this video we are going to learn a new trick of some product formula to calculate product bundle pricing using a simple x, y, z or any letter to include or exclude a product you can use a formula based on the sum product. So in this simple example or you can say database that you can see that I have four bundles here and each bundle should contain any of the item or every of the item and the amount should be calculated according to the bundle amount right so if i enter x into bundle 1 as item b and hit the enter so it automatically calculate 35 and if i add x into item d in bundle 1 again so it will calculate 85 and 35 and automatically shows you the result according to this amount range right or if I enter X in every of the cell it will simply add the amount according to your tick mark so welcome back everyone on a new video of Microsoft Excel miscellaneous series on your favorite channel technical portal this is your host Pritam and don't worry I'll give you the link of downloading this Excel workbook into my description box so please check that download it and practice yourself for improvement of your skills so without further ado let's begin so basically what we need we just have to put any X or any letters you want and that will automatically calculate the amount of each items according to your function so here we are going to use the sum product function equals to sum product right so according to this array we are going to use this amount cells that is from c5 to c10 don't forget to press the f4 key to lock your cell reference or data reference so that whenever you copy the formula anywhere else in your database the data range will not changed and your formula will not show any errors so now insert a comma now here we need to insert double dash or you can say hyphen or you can say that minus symbol of excel open a parenthesis now enter the data range of the bundle one as we are going to calculate the bundle one cost right so the data range is from d5 to d10 now press the f4 key twice to only lock the row numbers of your bundles right so here what we need we need to use an equation symbol here now open an inverted comma and put any desired letter i am using the x letter so close the inverted comma and close the parenthesis and just hit the enter button you will get your result right so I am copying the formula from left to right just holding the shift key and arrow key and after then press ctrl and R the formula will be copied now look at here if I want any of the letter here it will add automatically suppose in bundle 1 I just only want the item B item D and item F it will automatically calculate the three items cost in bundle 2 I want just item A item C and item E so it will calculate it for me here in bundle 3 I just want one item and in bundle 4 I want every item to calculate it so it will calculate and show you the result automatically so let me show you how this formula actually works so the sum product function multiplies ranges or arrays together and returns the sum of products. This sounds boring but sum product is an elegant and versatile function which in this example illustrates nicely. So in this example sum product is configured with two arrays. The first array is the range that is called the, as the amount and that holds the product pricing right and the second array is generated with the expression that we have given here as the desired alphabet here so the double negative we have used here converts the true and false values to one and zero as we all know that computer only understands the one and zero as its language so then the sum product function then multiplies corresponding items in each array together and returns the sum of products into your desired cell 
effectively the second array acts as a filter for the values in the first array zeros in array 2 cancel out items in array 1 and ones in array 2 allows value from array 1 to pass through into the final result so that's all for today friends hopefully you like this video i'll come back soon with another interesting video till then keep learning keep supporting this channel and keep practicing